This video explains the operation of an Excel spreadsheet that is designed to allow delegation of tasks to an assistant and management of those tasks while they are outstanding. The operation of the spreadsheet is explained in the context of lawyers delegating tasks to an assistant, but really it could be used in any context in which tasks needed, need to be delegated. So um, the first thing to do is open up Microsoft Excel and you need to make sure macros are enabled because the spreadsheet uses macros. Um, if you need to enable macros, um, at least in Excel 2010, you can click File, Options, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, and then Enable Macros over here. Those instructions are also um, explained on the Legal Tree page uh, where the spreadsheet can be downloaded from. Um, and so you can look up the instructions there if you didn't follow what I just did um, a moment ago. Okay, so once macros are enabled, you can go ahead and open up the Task Tracker spreadsheet. And when you open up uh, the spreadsheet, you'll see that it basically consists of three main areas. The first is this blue area at the top, which is a task creation area. Um, tasks are then moved down uh, by clicking this Move to Outstanding button over here. Um, and the tasks will then be placed in the Outstanding Tasks list, which is this orange area over here and tasks on the list can be manipulated up and down using these buttons and then once a particular task is completed it can be moved um, down to the completed tasks um, area in green over here by clicking the move to completed button but um, before a lawyer goes ahead and adds um, his or her first task they should make sure that their name is um, added uh, to the list of lawyers over here so I'll just add another hypothetical name and you'll see that when that name is added the um, name is added over here as well automatically to the list of lawyers. Okay, so now I will go ahead and create a new task. I'll make it a task um, created by Andrew. I'll just copy and paste in a description here to save time. And then a file name needs to be added. Again, I'll just copy and paste it in. And then I'll put in an estimated duration. Um, time estimates should be added by lawyers creating tasks because it allows them to later um, estimate how long tasks will take to get done uh, based on um, the duration of the various tasks listed on the outstanding tasks section and also um, it tells lawyers whether it's appropriate to have one task uh, be skipped ahead of another so we'll see that in a minute but for now I'll just go ahead and click the move to outstanding button and what you'll see is that the um, new task will get moved down to the outstanding tasks list and also the file name that we entered is now um, available on the list of uh, files in case we want to create a fresh task for that file we don't need to retype the file number but can just click on the item on the list okay so as mentioned the description area is really important um, it's not always necessary to type out a full description but perhaps if there was a previous email um, between you and the assistant and uh, you want to just say as per email do the following then you could type that in the description box or perhaps you might say as per verbal discussion do the following um, and uh, if they are hard copy documents which um, the assistant is going to use to do the particular task then the lawyer can just take the task number that's created over here when a new task is generated um, write the task number on a sticky put a sticky on the um, collection of documents and then put the documents in the out tray that way the assistant uh, when he or she picks up the pile of documents and looks at the number will know which um, particular task it relates to and there's not need to put a bunch of scribbly handwriting on a sticky okay so I'll go ahead and create another task um, this time I'll make it a task to be completed by David I'll um, put in the description and what you'll notice is you can't attach a file to a new task in the spreadsheet like you can attach a file to an email but what you can do is um, go to the particular pleading you want to file this is not a pleading but I'll just show you how it works uh, you hold on the shift key right click select copy as path the name of the path will now be on the clipboard go into your description paste it in and then you can identify the particular version of the document that you want the assistant to electronically file. You can then put in the file name and again put in a duration and click the button to move it down to the task list of outstanding tasks and as you can see it comes in at the bottom. 
So um, I'll go ahead and add a third task. This will be done by Peter and it will be a phone conversation that Peter needs to have made or done should I say with the doctor's office. Um, I'll uh, put in the file description again assuming it's not on the list below already and again put in the time estimate put it down on the list and I'll then go ahead and create a further task but in this case I'm gonna select a pre-existing file name from the list put in a bunch of garbage in the description um, just to show how it works of course you shouldn't have a description like that uh, put in the duration and because this cell has been left blank the spreadsheet is going to automatically use the selected file name from the list below um, it's only when you enter information into the cell over here that it will assume it's a new file and then uh, it will use that information to create a new task and put that new file information on the file list so I'll go ahead and move that down to the task list so once there are a collection of tasks on the tasks list then um, typically the lawyers can reorder them um, say for example this is decided to be the most urgent task you can click this button over here to move it to the top or um, you can also use these buttons on the side over here to move tasks up and then again to move them down there are some guidelines on the um, legal tree page uh, that the spreadsheet can be downloaded from that explain uh, reordering of tasks but uh, typically assistants can just leave it to the lawyer to or the lawyers to reorder the tasks according to priority and the assistant can just focus on doing whatever task happens to be at the top of the list so when commencing a task um, assistant might uh, write in progress so that everybody can see that uh, that's the task that's currently being worked on um, and then lawyers should know that they probably shouldn't skip um, tasks ahead of um, the task currently in progress because that might disrupt what the assistant is doing. As mentioned, um, a key rule for the assistant is always to only work on whatever task happens to be on the top of the list. And the second rule is that um, tasks should not be moved down to the completed section until they are fully completed. Um, so, for, so for example, on this one over here, which is the task to file a pleading, um, it shouldn't be moved down merely because the pleading has been sent to the courthouse for filing but rather um, it should uh, maybe um, have a note added over here um, and then it should be left on the list until the pleading is actually back from the courthouse um, and the task is fully completed at which point the assistant can push the move to completed button over here and indeed that is how tasks are moved down to the completed tasks section um, the assistant is required to enter in a duration um, and as explained on the legal tree page, this is to give the lawyers feedback and to educate lawyers um, as to how long things actually take. Because uh, again, lawyers are notoriously bad for um, estimating how long tasks take. So um, I'll just move a couple more tasks down to the bottom um, over here. Every time a duration must be entered. And then um, what you'll see is that the tasks get added um, to the top of the completed tasks list. So um, that can be helpful for lawyers to keep an eye on so they know a task has been done if they need to do something further on that file um, and also provides a um, list of all tasks historically completed um, which is helpful if you want to go back and see when last um, something was done on a particular file. You can um, edit uh, the spreadsheet just like you would any other Excel spreadsheet by making a text uh, colorful or you can make it uh, bold, italic, underlined, things like that. Um, you can also uh, delete rows if you want. Um, there is uh, one or two things though, that you have to be careful of. You don't want to delete or interfere with any of the text um, that have exclamation marks in it because those are landmarks that are used by the spreadsheet. Um, so don't delete any of those but apart from that you can um, edit text and copy and paste within this area. Um, you can also um, insert rows if you wanted. So. Um, that's uh, one thing you do have to be careful of though, not to delete or move or modify any of the text with exclamation marks and there's more up here. If this list of files gets quite long or perhaps um, some files settle and you want to remove some items you can go over to the file list tab which is at the bottom over here and then you can delete a file and you can even put um, a new file number on if you wanted to. 
and what you'll notice on the tasks tab is that um, the file list over here you can see Smith and Jones got deleted and CND got added and so that gets um, basically automatically generated from whatever is contained over here on the file list tab so update this list and it'll automatically update this list which you use when creating um, tasks and as well you can delete lawyers if um, you need to and you'll see on the left hand side those lawyer names disappear alright so uh, don't forget to read the information on the legal tree page for the spreadsheet um, and uh, hopefully the spreadsheet works for you